we're all here to talk about one thing and one thing only, all right? My sloth bite. What did you say? I know, wow. Every time I tell someone that I got bit by a sloth bite, literally they're like, I'm sorry, what? Doctors, nurses, people, just like, it, yes, and probably you. <clears throat> Anyways, um, if you guys didn't already know my name, my name is... I was at the zoo and um, me and my friend wanted to check out the sloths. Um, the people at the zoo said it was fine to open up the sliding door. When we opened the sliding door, we just sat there and looked at the sloths. I bent down and had my hand like hanging down low for a little bit and sooner or later this female sloth started this sloth this female sloth started to come down this branch and she came to me okay just to let you guys know um sloths actually don't really like to interact with humans very much <clears throat> they're pretty shy animals so they have always said at the zoo, like, don't go to them unless they come to you. She came to me. <laughs> I had my hand out and she kept grabbing at it and I pulled it away a few times because I was like, uh, I don't know, I don't know. And then she kept pulling at it and I was like, man, like, when do you ever really get to have like a sloth on you? I mean, you don't really get that, I mean, you don't get that kind of a chance all the time. Well, I was like, oh, sweet, I'm gonna be like, mm, I might get the sloth on my arm, it's gonna be like the coolest memory, coolest story, I'm gonna tell everyone about this, I'm gonna pictures and all this. I put my hand out to her, cause I was like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust her. I gave in and she, I, thought she was gonna just smell my hand because some animals like to smell you before they like to get touched by you. So right when she was smelling me, she bit me. You all are fucked. And whoo, she bit me good. Um, yeah, I, everyone tells me how I handled it was like really well. <laughs> <laughs> he likes you actually. I know. I was like, do you want to just climb on me? Is that what you're trying to do? You're so cute. Let it. Oh, oh, let, it. Let, it. let it. Actually, oh, I'll try and bite me. Oh, oh. I don't know. I guess I was just more worried about the animal's safety. I didn't want to hurt the animal. Uh, as weird as that sounds, but I also was trying to like concentrate on myself and getting this thing off me and so I can hold on to my wrist cause man, Sloth's got some bangs. I held on to my wrist so freaking hard. My I had blood all over me. I, there was blood all down my arm and all my hand. I had my friend there who, uh, who was there and she had blood on her because she was like trying to help me calm me down also because I was kind of like Like I don't want to bleed out. <laughs> I'm feeling woozy yeah. It was like one of my worries. I don't want to bleed out and I don't want to like Terrify other people around me and make everyone else in a more panic mood But I was trying I don't know my mind was all over the place honestly. Oh and um the zoo said that probably why the, zoo, the sloth bit me is because she they they found out she's pregnant. Had a nice two hour drive home after got it rebandaged again for the second time. I went to my mom's house and my mom was like, you should go to the hospital or you should go to the emergency room, you should go to the emergency room. And I was like, ah, no, no, nah, I, uh, I was hesitant. I, I don't really like going to the hospitals. That's like one of the last places I want to go. I know I'm I'm stubborn. I was stubborn as hell. 
But my mom was like, uh, no, no, no. So I went. She's right, you know. Especially after I saw it, I was like, Whew. okay, yeah, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Got it cleaned out and everything. Stuck in there. Yeah. I was really scared. I was really scared for her to like clamp my whole wrist. As my mom was in the emergency room, going, "I told you so." Ha ha ha. But yeah, <laughs> after I got it cleaned out, I thought it was fine. And then a couple days later, uh, I was cleaning out my wound, and all of a sudden I had pus coming out. <laughs> And I was like going into panic mode. I was like, great, <laughs> great. As, as a, I'm not already like worked up about this enough. Um, now it's probably infected, okay? I called my sister. She's going to school for like nursing and everything. So I called her and I was like, hey, so what should I do? We had a talk. She was like pretty much at the end like, wait till tomorrow morning and we'll see how it is. And if it's still having like pus and stuff coming out, then yeah, we need to go to the emergency room. Next morning I got up and everything and yeah, pus started coming out. So I went to urgent care <clears throat> and man, oh man, I gotta say props to freaking Riverbend and the urgent care that I went to because if they weren't so nice and caring and everything, that probably would have made 10 times worse. And so this guy pretty much told me that he had to reopen my whole, whole wound <clears throat> and drain it. Um, or I could go to the river bend and get a scan on where the infection is and get it trained over there. I wanted to get it trained where I was. I felt confident in the doctor that I had that was there talking to me. I told him he could open me back up and drain me. Um, whew, when he shot me up with lidocaine, feel throughout the whole time and he was just like I want to give you props because this is probably like one of the worst feelings you're gonna feel throughout this whole thing <clears throat> um, he put a draining tube after he got most of the infection out um, I got a draining tube like Mike Jack to water shit if the sky falls I got the draining tube out after a week that was a trip to see a tube in your arm and that was awesome to sleep with let me tell you but after I got my journey tube out my my bite has been doing well it's gonna take it's still gonna take a while to heal I'm gonna have a scar a little scar but um I hope you guys enjoyed the story um, because actually it's a one in a lifetime kind of a thing. When I looked on, up online like how many people have been bit by a sloth, one of the first things that pops up is that sloths are not dangerous to humans. You sit on a throne of lies. Uh, yeah, we know that's a false, false. <laughs> They can be dangerous, they can be dangerous. So be aware now, if you ever come across a sloth, they can be vampires. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my story. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys next week. Names on dotted lines, you should draw a line real shit. I am legend in my city, I'm Will Smith, old bitch.